Right on. Damn, bro. <laughs> you know, uh, so I have a, um, I have a confession. I know people are conflicted, and they're, um, it's like 50-50, but I like the Dio years of Sabbath better than Ozzy. Hands down. That's when Sabbath, oh, right became, that's right. when Sabbath became a metal band. Right. That's, that's I think Instead so. of a heavy that's... blues down stoner right. band, yep. they became a metal yep. band. Yeah, I have a, um, James is a, is a Dio fan. He loves old Dio. Awesome. And I have, a, I have a DVD of the last show that Ronnie James Dio did with Black Sabbath. And on freaking believable oh, that's a little teeny dude with massive freaking pipes of steel bro. Dude, when you, I mean, when, what is he five foot four yeah when you think of you know all the great singers Dickinson Halford obviously Jeff Tate who we played last week and yep. Dio it's tough to decide who, who's your favorite I, I'm going to vary between Halford and Dio you know, I was just listening, to, posted a reaction video of a composer who was mm -hmm. analyzing Rhyme of the Ancient Mariner. Yep. And it was one of the most instructive things I've ever heard in my life. Dude, he broke the whole song down a lot because he's got perfect pitch. He was like, yep. E, A minor, and we just like that. Right. But he was talking about, he says, the only critique I have is that there was no variance in the vocals. It was still all up here, it was all right. You know, just all this high tenor mm -hmm. stuff. Yep. And I said, that's a good critique. Because yep. Dio mm -hmm. wouldn't do that. Right. Yeah, nor would, be, would Halford. No, nor would Halford. Right. That is a good tune, though, because at the end, you know, the curse that came, it, it lives on in their eyes. Yeah. Right. You know, when he starts singing that part, wow, man, the mariner he'd wish he died. I think that's because it, it's not overpowered by guitar and drums. Yeah. It's just Bruce Dickinson, Dickinson yeah. singing. Yeah. You know, it's very, it, and it's just that bass. Know, it's just that and i think a little bit of hi-hat or something like that so it's those five six ten lines whatever they are because then he finishes that with that massive freaking high-pitched scream which is freaking awesome man. yeah if anybody's never heard it go listen to rhyme of the ancient man yeah metal or not it doesn't matter if you like it doesn't matter just listen to that because you'll have one of those epiphany moments just like those dudes you know who like rap stars and mm -hmm. stuff when they uh when somebody tells them hey you need to listen to um dissonant aggressor by judas priest and they got the headphones on and they're going oh my god <laughs> what in the hell is this yeah it's a 13 yeah, minute song but it's worth every right. bit of it